Grenada is a stepping stone to West Indian archaeology. Uh -huh. um, it is one of the migratory routes from South America up the islands. It is believed that um, the Indians came well, through the um, Bering Strait during the Ice Age and made their way right down to South America. And from South America, the first group called the Sibonis came in as early as 8 BC to 1 BC, then the Arawaks. So the Sibonis were mainly stone age dwellers. They used conch shells, stone axes. These three pieces here they are believed to be dated from 180. This spot, it's mainly of Barankoid traits. The Indians had a god for each and every aspect of their life. And when they got rid of a pot, they broke it so that the spirits, they leave that pot and go. This is a gem in terms of petroglyph because it is extremely rare. It is the first portable petroglyph found in the entire Lesser Antilles. So this one, we can you know, really say that we have something to be proud of. Pearls Airport. We went down there the other day and um, were amazed to be greeted by all these youngsters uh, who proceeded to, you know, they wanted to show us all these uh, Carib uh, artifacts and things and took me over uh, to a site which is practically littered with them. I, it just was unbelievable to me. Um, what steps are you taking to preserve this for the heritage and the future of Grenada? Well, Pearls is the biggest Amerindian site or settlement on the island and also in the entire Lesser Antilles. And we are updating our laws, but at the same time too, we are trying to educate the, the, the youth, the young people, as to the importance of some of our artifacts. Because the artifacts themselves give you the whole history of our island. They are very, very important and invaluable. Pearls is a great settlement for the Scarab people. You know, they threw all their bits and pieces on these places. So in actual fact then, what we're looking at is an old garbage dump. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's an old carib, um... carib garbage dump. Right. Yes. And of course, the, what the, the garbage dump in one age becomes a treasure in another. Mm -hmm. And this is what has happened now, you see. Um, we really are looking at real treasures. My father was the first man in the Caribbean who distilled the nutmeg oil. And his major sale in nutmeg oil was from Canadians, Americans, and Europeans who bought nutmeg oil chiefly for rheumatic fevers, that the chief constituent of Vicks Viperum is made from nutmeg oil. It was called the Isle of Spice because it is the largest producing island in the Caribbean that produces spice. And uh, they produce about a third of the world's production of nutmegs. You can visit Sir William Branch's plantation at Dubleston. The women will show you how they remove the mace from the nutmeg and then spread it to dry in the sun. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.